Hello everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another How to Build video. In this video, I'm showing you how to build Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. The game has just come out as of October 7th. I've played through the entire game. That's how I built this entire thing. So I pretty much went off of what I saw throughout the entire game. Now, I also had to look up any secret things that I didn't know. So those are the only things that I actually had to really look up. So the first thing we are starting off in is the elevator. And if you notice a cool little effect that I put inside this elevator, you can kind of see that fan shadow that you could see in the game going around in a circle right here. If you look really closely, as you can see, it's going around in a circle. Now, I'm using the magma blocks here. If you don't have the magma blocks, that's absolutely fine. All you have to do is just replace the magma blocks with glass because there's redstone torches above these magma blocks. But they look really, really great inside of the elevator. So then once we leave our elevator, we go off into the first room. Now, you really don't get to see much with this first room here when you play through the game. It's kind of just there for you to click and then go through the vent system. So here is the first room right here. And then we're going to go ahead and move through the vent system into our control room. Now, this is the main area of the build. This is where you really want to see everything. You know, you want to see uh, Ballora's room. You want to see Funtime Foxy's room. Everything is pretty much here. This makes this whole map look fantastic. So right here is the control room. Now, I made sure everything works, guys. The lights work. The shocking works. Them coming back up. Now, that was a good thing. I actually recorded this whole entire map already. I was supposed to have a tutorial up on it yesterday. But for some reason, my audio got mixed, messed up somehow. And I sounded like a chipmunk that just drank a Red Bull. <laughs> it sounded really high-pitched, really fast. And I had no idea how it happened. I spent like three hours recording this thing. And it got completely ruined. But I guess something good came out of it. I got to add a few things. Now, someone on my Twitter told me if I could add in the armor stands popping up out of the ground. And now that's what you're going to see. So when we come over here, if I light up a Ballora's room, I can see Ballora's not there. If I light up Funtime Foxy's room, Funtime Foxy... He's not there also. So we're going to have to give them a little bit of a controlled shock for them to show up. So we want to get Ballora out of there. So let's go ahead and give her a controlled shock right here. We'll shock her a little bit. And as you can see, she is now up on stage showing off, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Dancing for us until she kills us later on. Same thing goes with Funtime Foxy. Let's go ahead and give Funtime Foxy a little bit of a controlled shock. There's Funtime Foxy. There he is. Good job, Funtime Foxy. Please don't kill me later on. So let's go ahead and make our way over to uh, the breaker room. This is pretty much, they don't show anything over here. When you're come, when you're playing the game, you're pretty much just looking at the floor like this, and you pretty much have to stop moving or Ballora is going to kill you. So you could do whatever you like. Now, when you're playing through the game and you see the whole entire map, there's these two things called observation rooms. Now, I'm thinking you could put the observation rooms right here and right here because I'm only assuming an observation room is to look over Ballora and Funtime Foxy. They never show the observation rooms, so I just think that's a really cool idea. If you want to do something back here, maybe you can make an observation room up here for, like, I guess the mechanics or scientists or whoever is operating on these guys like to look down at them. So over here is the break room, which has our Funtime Freddy in here that's trying to kill us while we're pretty much trying to turn everything back online now the cool thing about this room too is right up here this light will go on and off randomly there it goes see it just went on randomly it's completely random generated like in the game when you're sitting there on your thing there's little sparks here and there so you can see freddy boom there it goes again guys it's completely random generated i tried to make everything work in here now like i said if you can't use magma blocks that's absolutely fine just switch it out to a different block and any magma block that's using an actual light source just replace it with a glass block there's a redstone torch above it so let's go ahead and leave uh, the break room and then we'll head over to this side to the maintenance room, which also I hooked to the scooper room. Now, I'm not 100% sure if the scooper room leads straight from Funtime Foxy's room from here into there, because after you do beat the game, you get a little extras page and it shows that the scooper room is right here however when you're in there doing the whole breaker thing and turning everything back online it shows like a kind of bit of a ventilation shaft coming over from the maintenance room into there so i just went with the ventilation shaft if you want to add a door right here into the scooper room go ahead but right here we're going to go into the maintenance room and here's the freddy that we have to do maintenance on or i believe also later on there is circus baby in here that we have to do maintenance on and this is just a very easy three by three room and i added the magma block because the magma block only gives off a one block of lighting guys it makes these maps look super eerie but also gives it a little bit of a lighting effect like i said just switch it out with a redstone torch or a glass block you'll be absolutely fine then over here is pretty much the little vents shaft i made that will lead us over to the scooper room not going to go too much into the scooper room because if you've not played the game it's pretty much like the ending besides doing the whole uh private room and things like that so there is i'm pretty sure it was spring trap i'm not 100 percent sure but it looked like spring trap to me so there's spring trap i'm gonna just say it is and then right here is the scooper arm and then right here is where all the bodies of the robots would be so let's go ahead and leave the scooper room if you want to add a doorway into Funtime foxy's room right there you absolutely can go ahead i just went ahead 
and chose a little vent shaft like that into the scoop room. Now, of course, right over here is the private room. I'm going to keep this all the way to the end of the video because it's basically like another video in itself because pretty much what you have to do is after you uh, beat the game, you have to or... I don't know if you have to fully beat the game, but you have to play some sort of mini game, give cupcakes to a bunch of kids, which will then allow you to come back through Funtime Foxies. And instead of listening to Circus Baby, you go left and then you can head into the private room, which is basically like an old time Five Nights at Freddy's game where you're pretty much just looking at a screen and, you know, opening and closing doors to keep Anard. I believe his name's Anard from killing you, which is like this weird clown looking monstrosity thing. So I basically just put in iron doors for the doors. I didn't go crazy this time. However, I did add the opening and closing vent shaft up here. So as you can see, this will open and close the private room's event shaft so we can walk through here and i also put a button on this side as well just in case you want to leave through it but if we come all the way in here i didn't go crazy with the private room because you can't really see too much when you're playing the game it's really really dark in the private room so i just put bars everywhere guys it's completely up to you but i did add the cameras so there's camera i believe six and five i believe and then down here oh i did not put that camera in here never mind i missed one so there is supposed to be a camera up in that corner we can go ahead and add that later on there's a camera up in this room right here and then of course on this side like i said i didn't go crazy with it there's some more bars down here and then over here is the breaker room camera room so let's go ahead and now leave the private room and then we can head over to biddy 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 dabs or biddy baby i forget his name already guys i'm so sorry but it's pretty much uh circus baby's room and biddy babs what whatever those little baby things that follow around circus baby it's really really creepy looking so let's go ahead and head into that room as well so here is Biddy Babs and Circus Babies. I'm pretty sure it's Biddy Babs room, but we can go ahead and click the button to see, hey, are you awake? Nope, they are not in there. And then, of course, we can give them a little bit of a controlled shock. <laughs> now, the cool thing about this room is it actually works in here when you have to hide underneath the desk from the Biddy Babs or Baby. I'm pretty sure it's not Baby. It's Biddy Babs that attacks you because Circus Baby is the one that's trying to help you. I'm not going to get into that because she's not really helping you. But if we throw an item right here, boom, it will open up that room that we can hide underneath from the Biddy Bab so he doesn't kill us. Yes, I tried to do everything I possibly could with Redstone guys to make this work. So all you do is throw an item here. It'll open up the underneath desk and then we can now hide in here from the little Biddy Bab guys. So let's go ahead and leave this area and let's go ahead and give him one last control shock before we leave just for fun. There we go. <laughs> and that's basically everything. I'm pretty sure I went over all the Redstone. You know, we let's go ahead and just hide Funtime Foxy really quickly and we'll go ahead and hide Ballora as well. That's probably going to be uh, the hardest part of the, you know, the armor stands coming up because the person that told me why don't i add the armor stands on twitter i made a video for popping up armor stands so i already knew how to do it i was like why didn't i add this in from the first place so like i said guy i'll make sure to put your little comment thing from twitter up on there i'm sorry i forgot your name but i did add your idea in because i already had a tutorial on how to make these so let's go ahead and leave this whole entire area i don't really have a way in and out so i'm just going to break out through the elevator room now i highly recommend building this thing on the ground it pretty much feels like when you're playing the game that you are in an underground base. So I highly recommend building this whole entire thing underground. Now, I'm not going to be giving a layout. As you can see, I already have another one over there because, like I said, I did the entire tutorial. This was the tutorial and it got ruined. So pretty much now I'm going to have three of these things right next to each other. We're going to be building this all together. There's going to be no layout. We're going to start from the elevator and work our way through the entire video. This should take quite some time to do. So we're going to start from the elevator and we're going to work our way up so let's go ahead and start on this build guys so like i said guys we're gonna be starting from our elevator and working our way in now that's another good thing i guess that happened that it messed up is now i built this thing twice so i pretty much know where absolutely everything goes by heart so let's go ahead and start on the elevator so what you want to do first is pull out some polished diorite that's going to be the flooring of your elevator so we're going to make a two by two spacing of our polished diorite and then come out two on every single side like this making it kind of look like a tiny little circle now we're going to take out our light gray hardened clay and come up three blocks around the entire thing, except for the way we're going to be entering into our second room. So pick which way you want your second room to go and then just start from there, guys. So our elevator is going to be the main part. We're going to be entering from here like this. So leave one side open for your doors. That's going to be the side I'm going to be leaving open for my doors. I'm just going to follow the same pattern I did over there, but I'm going to be exiting my elevator right through this door like that. Next up, you're going to take out some magma blocks. If you don't have magma blocks, just switch it out with some glass. So we're going to place magma blocks like this. I took a, I used magma blocks a lot in this because it's a brand new block on console, and I absolutely love it. It makes freaky and scary maps look 10 times better because it gives off such a low light level. It just makes horror maps and things like that look fantastic. Now what we're going to do is pretty much come out a block from it and go around every single one like this. Just make a big square going around all of your magma blocks just like this. Just follow exactly what I'm doing. Make a big square going around all of your magma blocks like that. There we go. And then come up a block on every single corner of your square. 
Now, once you have all your squares into place, we're going to need redstone for this. I completely forgot to take out just regular redstone. We're going to place redstone in the middle of each two blocks closest to the magma block. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two, and place redstone torches off the sides of them. This will give the light level to the magma block. So now our magma blocks will have the redstone torches light level. That's why I love these magma blocks. Now in the video game, it's going counterclockwise. It's going counterclockwise. So we're gonna have to take out repeaters and make them go counterclockwise. So going from this way, as you can see, there's my entrance into my building. We're gonna make our repeater go this way and then come out of the block going that way. Go into the block this way, come out of the block that way, and then so on and so forth, making a counter clock like that. Now all we have to do is just send power to it and then break it right away. So go, what I like to do is just take a lever out, place a lever off any one of these blocks, it really doesn't matter, and just flick it down and then flip it back up real quick. So down and then up, and there you guys go. That's going to make that fan effect on the inside. So now we're gonna to come to the inside and we're gonna place in staircases upside down. Choose any color you like. I'm gonna be using quartz. And now we're gonna place in our staircases upside down. I'm gonna be using quartz stairs. Just follow right along and they should go in perfectly. So place your first one right off this block. Then turn to this block over here, place another one here. Turn to this block over here, place it here. And then turn to this one right here and place it there. And as you can see, they all hook together perfectly. If you did not follow along, they're not gonna hook up together and they're gonna look like it's just going into the side of the block so now if we go ahead and actually close up the lighting right here we could see our fan in motion so boom and as you can see it's going around a counter clockwise motion of lights making it seem like there is a fan above us so let's go ahead and break these blocks out because now we're going to go ahead and take out our iron trap doors and place iron trap doors on the sides of every block this is just to hide the magma blocks because even though they're really cool looking it kind of doesn't fit <laughs> kind of doesn't fit to have magma blocks inside of an elevator so i just went ahead and i hid them with some iron trap doors like that and guys there's your elevator room completely done all we have left to do actually now is just place in an item frame in one red block for our red button now i know i did not use a red button to open up the door that would just added too much to the redstone i just decided to do some stone pressure plates but go ahead and just take out an item frame and go ahead and take out any red block of your choice. Really doesn't matter. I'm just going to go ahead and use clay and place it right here with your red button like that. So there's our elevator. So now we're going to make the door right here that's going to open and close when we hit those pressure plates. Now, this is probably one of the oldest doors in all of Minecraft. So it's going to be a very, very simple door to make. So what you want to do is right here at the front of your elevator, just dig down two blocks. One, two, one, two. And then we're going to dig out these two blocks as well. Don't worry. We're going to put our diorite blocks back again. And then we're going to dig out two more this way, making a three by two spacing and going into where our elevator is by one block. Next up, take out your redstone and just place redstone all down here like that. Then we're going to come out from the middle, two blocks, one, two, one, two, and then just dig down one here and one here. So it looks something like this. And now place redstone right along all these blocks. And there you have it. Next, take out your redstone torches and place a redstone torch here and a redstone torch here. Now we want to make sure everything is hooked up together. So take out your diorite once again and place your diorite here with two stone pressure plates on top of it. So when I hit these pressure plates, these redstone torches should go off. As you can see, they went off, boom and boom. So now we know everything is working. So now let's go ahead and place in our door. So take out your sticky pistons, place one off the redstone torch and then another one and another one. Do the same thing on this side. One off the redstone torch and then another one and another one. Now to get these ones extended out, just place a block above your redstone torch with redstone on top of it. And now you can see all of them are extended out. Same thing on this side. Boom, boom, all extended out. So now when I hit the pressure plate, bloop, they all go in and then they all extend back out. All go in and then all extend back out. Next up, go ahead and take out your diorite once again and place diorite right here and right here. And then off on this side, we're gonna place in two more pressure plates and now fill in your door with slabs. So go up all the way to the top with slabs and all the way to the top with slabs like that and then place in two more rows of slabs right above your door so now our door is working so boop door opens up and we can go ahead and walk through and boop door opens up and we can go ahead and walk right through it now it's time to start building our second room so go ahead and take out your polished diorite once again and we're going to need a six by three spacing of polished diorite the easiest way to do this is start from the middle of your door and just work this way over three blocks one two three and then do the same thing going this way one two three there is our six and then we're gonna have to come down three so one two three and then go ahead and wrap this all the way around to this corner and that will make your six by three spacing go ahead and change these blocks out with polished diorite as well once you have your flooring in go ahead and take out some gray hardened clay and we're going to come up six blocks around this entire thing with gray hardened clay so one two three four five six and do that all the way around the entire thing i'm going to speed up the video because you really don't need to see me do this All right, guys, so once you come up your six around the entire thing, as you can see, here's our doorway. We're going to come over here to our door and then face this way. Now, right here is where our vent shaft is going to be going. So break out these four blocks right like this. 
Then right above it, we're going to place in two stone staircases upside down. And then break underneath it one, two, and place two stone staircases inwards the normal way. And now just come out one more and place in two more stone staircases. And now we can go ahead and enter our vent shaft right here. As you can see, we can perfectly fit right through it. Now what we're going to do is take out some stone bricks and place stone bricks right up here and right here. And do the same thing on this side. One here and one here just like that. Now we're going to need some blue stained glass, some blue hardened clay, stone slabs, and sea lanterns. If you don't have blue stained glass for some reason in Minecraft, just use regular glass. If you don't have sea lanterns, just use glowstone. So starting from here, we're going to come right here to the middle and break out these three blocks. One, two, and three. So pretty much a three by two spacing of blocks. And we're going to place in our blue stained glass. One, two, one, two. And then place in stone slabs upside down. Now we're going to swing to the backhand side and where our stone slabs are, place in your sea lanterns. And then right behind the glass, we're going to place in our four blue stained blocks. And it's going to look something like that. And now we're going to come to this corner and do the exact same thing. Break out these three blocks. Place in two blue stained glass. Same thing over here. These three blocks. Two blue stained glass with our slabs upside down. Slab upside down. And then right here in this middle, we're going to do the same thing. Break out these three blocks. Two. And then a slab. And this side over here as well. One, two, three. Blue. <clears throat> slab. And then come behind them and then just go ahead and place in your sea lanterns and your blue stained clay. So boop, boop. Same thing over here. Boop, boop. Sea lantern. Uh boop boop and sea lantern and last but not least boop boop and sea lantern just like that now to enter we can go ahead and just break this real quick place in two more stairs right here and right here and we can go ahead and see what this room looks like and there we have it perfect and then for the ceiling just take out some stone bricks and fill in right above your slabs with stone bricks and that's going to be the second room from the elevator so when we come out through our elevator bloop we'll come into this room which pretty much has absolutely nothing in it and then also, oh yeah, I almost forgot, if you did, if you are building this on console or PC, we have banners now. So if you want to add those little banners off the front of it with the yellow line, it's very simple to do. All we need to do is just take out a black banner or just make a black banner. And then we're also going to need to take out some yellow dandelion. So take out a stack of yellow dandelion and then go ahead and just take out a crafting bench. So place down your crafting bench, go into your crafting bench, and press LT down to the banner, go to your banner and press Y on the banner. Once you're inside your banner, just come all the way down to the third last one right here. And then go all the way down to the yellow line. And now I want you to go ahead and click Y on that as many times as possible. So Y, 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 Y until it tells you you can't do it anymore. And then go ahead and choose that banner and create it. Once you have it created, you can go ahead and place it right here and right here. And that just gives it a little bit better of an effect. You don't need them, but I feel like it looks a lot better with them. All right, guys. So now it's time to build the vent shaft over to the control room. So starting off right off of your wall, we're going to count over 11 blocks with our stairs. So one from the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'll do that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and number 11 from the wall. And we're gonna go ahead and place in staircases all along these blocks. And then right above them, we're gonna place in more staircases upside down. We're gonna, so we're gonna need one here upside down, and we're going to need one here upside down, and then just bring that all the way down across, bringing it right along the bottom staircases here, and do the same thing right here as well. Just bring it right down across the top of the staircases below it. Now we're gonna go ahead and take out our stone bricks and place stone bricks right here on this side. And we're gonna place stone bricks on this side as well. Now, there's a little bit of a glitch that happens in Minecraft. You'll usually be able to see the light through the staircases, which we don't want. If you're not building this underground and you are building it out of the ground like I am, you don't want to see light coming through the vent shaft because then it doesn't look as dark and eerie as it's supposed to. So what we're going to do is just take an extra thing of stone bricks and bring it right along the top of these blocks right here. Do it right here as well. Bring it right along the top of it. And then bring another two rows right above the top of these stairs. That should stop the lighting effect from happening. So bring it right across. And then do it one more time here as well. And that's going to be our first vent shaft done that leads over into the first room and the elevator room. And now you can see it's really nice and dark in here. And then once we leave it, we're going to have two more staircases, one here and one right here as well. All right, guys, so now it's time to build the control room. So what we want to do first is make the whole entire layout for the floor. So we're going to take out stone slabs and we're going to need a six by 13 spacing. So starting right from here where our staircases are, come out two more blocks this way. One, two. And two more blocks this way. One, two. And that will make a total of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to go that way 13 blocks. So count the first one. One. And then go that way 13. So one, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'll do that one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and number 13. And we're going to dig out that whole entire area. We're going to dig out this whole entire 6 by 13 area. And then we're going to take our stone slabs. And I like to just place them upside down and fill in the entire flooring with your stone slabs. So go ahead and take out your slabs. I did not mean to go that far. And we're going to go ahead and place them upside down and just bring it right along the entire area. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video. Once you have your 6x13 spacing of slabs, go ahead and take out stone bricks, and we're going to bring up stone bricks six times around the entire thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then go around the entire thing with stone bricks. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly speed up the video once again. So now that you have all your stone bricks in, we're going to start off by doing the vent system for the side across the way. So just follow your vent system right here, and we're going to dig out a 2x2 two two spacing on this side as well. Just make sure it's even on both sides. You can see there's my vent system over there, and now here's going to be my next vent system. So now we're going to go ahead and just place in stone bricks upside down here and here, and then break out these two just like we did with the other one. Two here like that, and then break out these two and add in two more staircases like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and add that fan that's right above these ones. So now we're gonna break out a one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna come up three. One, two, three. So we're digging out a four by three spacing like that. Take out your iron bars and place now iron bars right along this entire area. Make sure you don't do what I did right there and then place it right in the middle. I hate placing an iron bars. There we go. Now on the opposite hand side of this, we're gonna take out some cobblestone walls and we're gonna place in a two by three spacing right in the middle with cobblestone walls. And then one to the side here. And one to the side right here. Take out your black hardened clay. And now place black hardened clay around this entire thing. Because we don't want to see anything on the outside of this area. So black hardened clay right here and here. Now make sure to not place it here. Because this is going to be part of your vent system. So quickly go ahead and just put two staircases upside down like that. And then just place black hardened clay right along the backhand side as well. You can use anything. But just make sure it's a dark looking color. There we go. And that's going to be the fan on the inside. Now that our fan is in place, let's go ahead and do the hardest prop for this room. And that's going to be those three heads over here. The only reason why it's the hardest to do is just because the way we have to put it in. So what I want you to do is over here in this corner, we're going to break out these two blocks and place in soul sand blocks like that. Then we're going to break out this wall right here just for now. And we're going to place in three power rails right here. One, two, three, like that. And then off this soul sand block, we're going to be placed. Actually, before we do this, sorry, before we do this, break this right here and place two blocks. Take out some Steve heads and place two Steve heads in like this and then break the blocks. Now place your power rail down here and then we're going to place a fence post right over here. Now we need to send power to those power rails. So just place in a block of anything, just block a redstone or a redstone torch and that will send power to your power rails. And then break one more block right here and place in an armor stand like that. Next place a Steve head on top of your armor stand. Place a minecart here and then just push the minecart and the Steve should fall right into place perfectly. Next up, break the rails. We no longer need those rails anymore. And now what we're going to do is push blocks into that minecart. So for this, I use dark gray blocks. So let me get out those. There it is. Gray hardened blocks. Sorry, not dark gray blocks. And we're going to place two right here. And then we're going to need pistons. So go ahead and take out a piston and place a piston facing inwards towards those blocks. So we're going to place one right here, one right here. Make sure you break this fence post right here. I completely forgot about it. And then send power to those pistons and that will push them into place. Next up, what we're going to do is take out some item frames. So go ahead and go into your list and take out an item frame. And we're also going to need a light gray carpet. Place your item frame here off both sides. So boom and boom. And then place in a light gray carpet inside of your item frames. And there we have it. That's probably going to be like the hardest prop to get in this whole entire build, actually. So there we go. I just wanted to move the Steve head over just a tiny little bit. Next up, we're going to do the props on the right-hand side. So first off, take out some mossy cobblestone walls and place two right here. That's going to be that air tank. Then we're going to take out a cyan hardened clay block and place it right to the right-hand side of it with an item frame off of it. And then inside of the item frame, place a lever. That's going to be that weird safe. Then right above, we're actually going to do something that I uh, got from 4J over builds their battle minigame maps. And that is we're going to place a block here, place a skeleton skull on top of the block, break the block underneath it, and then place a brewing stand underneath it. It was in one of their battle minigame maps, and I was like, what is that weird thing? And that kind of gave me the idea for that little tiny dude that's in the corner. And then right above it, we're going to go ahead and place in a uh, painting that is too high right above that. I usually like getting the one that looks like the dude walking, but not not Pinocchio, but uh, whatever. Let's just do that. So you're going to need a two-eye painting. Then over here, we're going to need an item frame with a clock in it. And then we're going to need a one painting right here. So a one-eye painting there and a one-eye painting on that side 
as well. And that's going to be all the props for this wall. Now we're going to add in the windows so we can see into Ballora's room and Funtime Foxy's room. So let me go ahead and quickly fix this wall right here, and then we could start up on it. So what I want you to do is come out one block from this wall, and we're going to dig out a three by three spacing starting from the second block up. So starting from here, one away from that wall, and one away from here, and then we're going to dig out a three by three spacing like this, and we're going to do the same thing on the opposite hand side. Come out one block and make a three by three spacing like that. And then we're gonna skip over two blocks. So one, two, and then over here, we're gonna do another three by three spacing. And we're gonna be putting blue stained glass in that one as well. And dig out this side as well with a th uh, three by three spacing. So there we have it. It's completely even two blocks in between with two three by threes. Next up, take out some blue stained glass. If you can't use blue stained glass, just use any glass. It really doesn't matter. And place it right inside every single one of these holes we have just made. So we're gonna place it in every single one. Place it in over here as well. Boop, 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 and boop. And over here as well. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, and three. Then right in the middle of them, we're gonna be making air vents to get into Funtime Foxy room and Ballora's room. So we dig out these two right here, and these ones right here. Take out your stone brick staircases and place them upside down. Boom and boom. We've done this plenty of times, guys. We're gonna do the same thing. Dig out these two, boop and boop. Break out these two extras right here, and break out these two extras right here, adding them in. So now we can go into her, uh, Funtime Foxy's room, and then this side as well. So for Ballora's room, boop, boop. Uh, boop and boop break these two as well boop boop and now we can go ahead and get into Ballora's room as well now we're not going to worry about the redstone just yet but we're going to go ahead and change out the block so we know where our buttons are going so take out a red hardened clay block and a blue hardened clay block and we're going to place the red one furthest away and the blue one closer same thing on this side red one and blue one the red one's going to be the shock one and the blue ones are just going to be for the lights themselves but we need to finish up this room first before we move on to one of the other rooms now if you want to from this point as well go ahead and place in your black banners if you still have them <laughs> hopefully you did not delete them or else you're gonna have to make them again i usually just keep them with me the entire time so i could just keep placing them in you don't have to add them in but i feel like it just makes it look a lot better and we're going to be putting them on the opposite hand side but first let's finish up the ceiling on our control room and then we can go ahead and move over to uh Ballora's room next i guess we'll do Ballora's room and then funtime fox room and also one more thing take out some wooden buttons wooden buttons not stone and place them right off of these blocks like that so to get started off with our ceilings we're going to come in between these paintings right here and these ones right here and we're going to take out stone bricks and place them upside down because this room has a bit of a i guess a uh, archway in it it has like a little archway kind of goes up into the center and then there's the two lights in the middle so we're gonna go like this with our stairs and we're gonna come up one more with them so place in another block here and come up another row of them and we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite hand side as well. So just come over and block like that. So block in one right here and then place in another row of them upside down with another block over here at the end of it like this. Now right here is where our two magma blocks are gonna be going. So boom and boom like that. And then behind us as well, they're gonna be over here one and two. Now, if you do not have magma blocks, if you don't have access to magma blocks, you're just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way on the Five Nights at Freddy's maps and just add in redstone torches if you do not have magma blocks. However, if you do, place them in the exact same way I just did. Now, we're going to take out our stone bricks and right above these blocks, Don't make sure you actually don't place them above the magma blocks because we need them open because we're going to need a light source for them. So, come out one away from your magma blocks and then go ahead and place in the ceiling. All it is is stone bricks across the hole entire ceiling now like i was telling you magma blocks can retain light levels of other items so now what i want you to do is take out some regular torches just regular torches i'm going to come over one block from our magma blocks come over one and place two reds uh, i mean two regular torches in like that and then come over one block here and place two torches there as well and now these magma blocks will retain the light level of these torches right here now just like down here with the air vent we are using stairs here so it can let light through and we don't want that happening so we're just going to come up another level of stone bricks hiding all our staircases to make sure that the light level does not come through them so just make sure you do that guys i don't want you to go in there and then be like why is there these weird light levels happening if you did it above ground so let's go ahead and just place blocks all along here i want to place another row here hiding up all our staircases so the light cannot get through so let's go ahead and come back in here and boop as you can see our magma blocks are lit up a lot more because of those torches but they're not lit up crazy because we moved them away from them and there is the control room completely done now we're gonna go ahead and move our way over to Ballora's room all right guys so to get things started off on Ballora's room you're basically going to need a lot of quartz and a lot of light gray hardened clay so Ballora's room is going to be a 16 by 15 spacing just like Foxy's they're both going to be the same size they're both going to be a 15 by 16 spacing so starting from here, right where our stairs are to enter the rooms, right here, we're going to count over seven blocks that way and seven blocks that way. That will make up the 16. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same thing this way. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that should be 16 blocks now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and number 16. Now we're gonna have to go out that way 15 blocks. Now it really doesn't matter if you mess up this room size because the sheer size of this room is ridiculously big. The only size, I, the only side I would say don't mess up with is this side right over here. You're going to need, you're going to need to come out seven blocks. You need that seven block spacing. So now we're gonna go out that way 15 blocks. So it's counting this one: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I'll go ahead and count that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now all you have to do is just basically hook this corner up to that corner over there. So just dig it out. And we're going to hook this corner right from here over to that corner right over there. And now what we're going to have to do is dig out this entire area, adding quartz to this whole thing. So I'm going to speed up the video. And then, like, of, co of course, you could just pause the video. And then I'm just, it's going to speed through it really quickly. And then go ahead and place in your flooring as well. 